All right, folks, uh, I don't know if I've done my intro, but I am relocating my bathroom. So let me show you where it's going from and where I'm going to. All right, so for, uh, folks, so, so two things uh, I'm going to do an update right now. It's actually um, just the day after Christmas. I was getting ready to finish editing my video for my new bathroom location realized there's two things I was missing in the uh, video before we get to the actual video itself. Now the first one, you will see in the video I had some trouble initially with this, well not this, this here was not sitting flat down on this system. And the reason for that is I miscalculated the diameter when I cut this center section out. You'll see in the video, I make a wider opening and this sits down flat very nicely. The other thing that I did not do in the video is this was my template for where to line this up, where to create this opening, cut that out. So without further ado, here's the video itself. I appreciate your patience in coming back. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, uh, don't forget to leave them in the comments below. All right, when I initially set up the bus, I did set up the bathroom uh, here for to serve two purposes. One, of course, to being the bathroom area. And second, this was going to be sort of my uh, office sitting area. Uh, and when this door was shut, I was thinking about having either something came to come down from this, like a panel, or something swing up from the bed that when I'm head company, instead of having to take the laptop off of stuff, I could swing it back around. Now that's the advantage of this spot. Now the bathroom itself uh, opens up. I've got my little uh, bathroom set up there. I have, let me see if I can show you. You can see the um, uh, little one gallon bucket there for the uh, urine container. Now this is uh, great. Uh, I'm gonna have to redo my office space after I do this and uh, just a brief reason why is this will probably be a spot if I do a regular fridge and not the uh, 12 volt medics, which I would still in line for that one. Well, let's go to the back of the bus. I and mean, there's a number of reasons I wanna put the bathroom back here. One thing I have this curtain, which has done a fantastic job for keeping the uh, odor from the cat litter box from coming through. Yes, they drop bombs. And another reason that, you know, the bathroom will be back here at the, you know, any odors or anything will be in this area. Now I will say, and I've had a couple of the people come in to get their opinions. When I have, and I'm using the bathroom set up in the front, you can see right down there, I'm using a sawdust toilet set up, which I can do another video on that later on. Uh, and there's been no smell in the bus. Oh, and I did put coffee grinds in. Now the advantage I have here also is that once this setup is complete, the urine diverter is going to be piped directly into this drain going to the gray water tank. That way I'm not going to have to keep emptying that bucket, which I really, really don't like to do. Uh, let me turn the camera on and I'll show you what I've got started on so far. All right, the first thing I had to do in a previous video was bring in these walls out because they were uh, were not even, they were not squared up properly. Um, and I think because the shape of the bus is what eventually caused an issue. So that solved this problem for this opening and closing. And now this will uh, open and close properly if I need to get underneath. Now the next thing I had to do was in this back area, you can see uh, I needed to cut this a couple of ways. One, going across because I'm going to have some hinges so that this piece can go up. And I want to do a, a couple of quick tests here while I, while I have you. This is going to fit snug right in the back there. This will go here. Now if I need to get underneath, this will lift up. Now, uh, because of the space I have to work with, I may have to do a latch here to keep this from falling down, which is which is no big deal. I can, I can I'm sure I can make something. All right, getting on to this piece here, uh, I did actually uh, I eyeballed the measurements first, and I was actually surprised it came out pretty good. This is just about a perfect fit. 
And the other thing I'm going to do is I have some of this piped inside. I'm going to finish cutting out this circular piece because I want this to go down in behind uh, to fill in that gap right there. And then I'll find a way to have something underneath so that this just sits down in there. I'll make all this sand smooth. I just I just want that gap filled in. All right, so I'm going to go down. So I'm going to do some more work on this and I will uh, add more to the video. All right, so hey, I'm working on my uh, next step of uh, putting my bathroom in the new location. And right now I'm in the middle of assembling this. So uh, this is the urine diverter. I'm going to finish putting the screws in this and then show you how this will uh, be setting the right way and how this will open up and down and what this will feed into to help reverse, uh, not reverse, but avoid the unnecessary splatter. Now, it is getting close to winter, so one of the steps I can't do, which will be at a later date, is to put a bead of silicone sealant around the uh, edge of this. Uh, I, I don't think I'll need to put any extra screws in here. I may, just to keep this closer to the top, but let me at least show you how this is going to sit. And you see the... I have a funnel set up right down here, and I know it's going to be a little hard to see, but this will sit right down in here into that funnel spot. Let's see if I can give you a, a better view. All right, when this is open, like this, and again, I got the location, measured everything out, so that that will sit down inside that funnel system right there. All right, this back piece going across, uh, I don't want... To drill holes down through the top it's nicely painted so what i'm going to do instead is i've already done it on this side and it seems to hold up uh just fine and yes i experimented before i did the video i'm going to drill a hole at an angle up through here and i'm going to use this screw to go up through and hold this from down uh underneath All right, that is definitely not going to go uh, anywhere at all. All right, I've got my uh, hinges lined up on either side. The next step is going to be attach them so that this will open and close uh, smoothly. All right, folks, something a little crazy I gotta do here. I'm gonna record it like this because I really don't have a spot to set the camera up while I'm doing this. All right, here's the problem I have with this toilet seat. It's actually not with the toilet seat itself. It's with me because I lost, and they are long gone, the bolts, the special locking bolts that go uh, in here. Now, I tried to do some searching online to find the replacement bolts. I've been looking, looking for a couple hours. Can't find a thing. It's not worth my time to keep looking or to drive downtown. Not when I have these. Now, again, this is uh, thanks to my dad who collected a lot of stuff. I have these bolts. I have some washers. And I'm going to drill an appropriate size hole down through the center because there's nothing in here. But what these are designed to do is they turn to unlock, sits down on the new bolts, and then locks in place. Those I don't have. So I'm going to put this all together. Uh, it'll operate just fine. 
And uh, this way it just saves me a lot of time, especially having these extra components around. All right, the last part I'll show you here, what I'll be going, when I go underneath, you won't be able to see. Uh, I'm going to put up the large washer uh, to help disperse some of the pressure against uh, this wood. Locking washers here, and then uh, regular nuts and tightening that all right up. All right, so technically the toilet seat is now in. This is the uh, slow closing cover, so nothing snaps down the middle of the night. Now, the only thing I might have to do is to make some slight uh, adjustments to this under here because I'm finding this isn't sitting exactly flat. But overall, this is how this sits. That'll work pretty good. That will slow close. And the bolts that I did on the back, these washers to uh, spread out the pressure so it's not pulling right on this uh, plastic top piece, and that holds you really good. Yeah. 